Hey guys, Max the Game Boy here, back with another quick review. This time we're talking about Kirby's Dream Buffet, a simple yet hilarious and fun Kirby game. First off, the price is pretty good, it's only $14.99, considering some Nintendo games can be $30 to $50 to $60, bucks. it's a great price. And the main game modes are all pretty fun, whether you're playing with friends, family, or the CPUs, it's a chaotic and hilariously fun time. There's also a ton of collectibles and stuff, and I am nowhere near getting all of them, so I'm gonna have to get back on that. And another great thing about this game is it's simple. It's not groundbreaking, it's just hilarious and chill Kirby fun, and you know what? We need games like that. I definitely say this game categorizes most as a party game, definitely and is most fun playing with other people. As exhilarating as it is, there's no story mode, it's just kind of races. So for me, it gets kind of boring after a little while, so I can only play it for like an hour at a time. But it's a high quality Kirby racing game, and I was happy to purchase it, and I'm happy to give it an 8 out of 10. Does that mean it's as good as other, more massive project games that I gave an 8 out of 10? Not necessarily. It just means that this game, it did what it said it was going to do. It's a fun racing game. That's all that matters. So in simple terms, it's a fun party game that's well worth the money. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you all in the next video. Hey y'all, Editing Max here, and I seem to have made a colossal mistake. Oh yes, another, another feature that, that I'm never, never going to use. Thank, Thank you so, so much, Nintendo. Nintendo. I would like to go back and admit that I would definitely use online play while using this game. I'm just naturally stingy about the whole online play thing, so that's kind of where my thought process was, but I apologize for speaking too soon. Anyway, see y'all later.